One of my relatives had a mastectomy. So I asked her, what do you use after the mastectomy? She said, I dupatta roll karke rakhti hu, ya handkerchief rakhati hu. I said, there is something called knockers which they use in the US. Would you like to try it out? She said, yeah, I don't mind. So I came home, I knitted a couple of them and sent it to her. And the following day, she was all tears. She said, Jeshi, this is so wonderful. Why don't you give, think about giving this to others? We can all pay for it. While browsing, I went through this uh, Knitted Knockers link in the US and it said Knockers. That is what really struck me. I said, what is this Knockers? Then I went in, I saw knockers was something that they were giving for breast cancer patients with mastectomy. I am also a person who does a lot of handwork. Crochet and knitting was one of the things which was very easy to do in the US because yarn is available, everything is available. And the following year when I went back, I made some knockers from the yarn they had and I gave it to them. I just called up a few of our friends of them and said, this is something I have idea in mind, would you like to join? They came home and they said, seems a good idea, let us see. That's how we started Prosthesis. So I registered with knittedknockers.org as a provider in India. And uh, I browsed and I got the name Saisha. It told me that it was Meaningful Life. And that is how I said Saisha, Meaningful Life. I think it really, really goes very well with what we are trying to do. Give woman a meaningful life after her mastectomy. This is how a knocker comes in and this is a knitted one. I have sized it as a size A. We are doing four cup sizes, A, B, C and D. We do have an E also, but there is not much of demand for E. I put the tag on this and then I have to sew it like this. I hand sew these. The filling is done from the back and then after filling, we have a thread that we just pull it to tighten the hole so that it doesn't come out. And after the filling, this is how the knocker would look. So I always overfill and tell them, if you want, you can resize the knocker. Take out the fiber, keep it separately, and after a couple of months of washing, you can restuff the knocker. And these say not for sale very specifically because we are not selling our knockers. They are completely free. We got a real first break because Dr. Selvi of Chennai Breast Center, one of our leading oncologists in Chennai, she said, we want knockers for our patients. And she has connected us with a lot of doctors also. So we were able to get more patients. 2020, we, because we had sufficient volunteers, they said, Jeshi, why not we start training some of the new ones or hand-holding them? To, and that has provided perfect knockers. I started in 2018, I had given out hardly 250 knockers. That too, with a lot of difficulty. But this year, every month we are giving 250 plus. We have sufficient knockers, no matter how many the demand is at the moment. And these knockers, even with regular washes, they last you easily about 18 to 24 months. And after that, they, we do give them an expire if they want. Bombay is the main dispatch center. We may have one more in the south, a dispatch center. And that is only of late, we have started having a lot of young youngsters, 30, 35 years, having breast cancer and, you know, using this. Otherwise, it's generally the older people and they say we don't use it every day. Show a little more patience and concern to a breast cancer survivor at least. You know, life does not end. Life, there is a lot to life after cancer too.